Thank you, Madam President. Uh, dear colleague Michael Cashman, uh, dear colleagues, please regard my, my remarks as a supplement, as a token of appreciation rather than revision. The MDGs allow us a unique point of entry into the human condition at the beginning of the 21st century. Therefore, it is critically important to come up with a new and fresh perspective instead of offering that of the 20th century. And the fact of our time is that no development is possible without security and vice versa. This is why we try to offer a more balanced approach to the MDGs paying more attention to such regions as Central Asia where poverty goes hand in hand with unsafety, insecurity, instability, forced child labor, and even slavery. In addition to the autocratic regimes in Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan, ethnic violence just recently broke out in Kyrgyzstan. Dire straits combined with instability and violence may lead to a humanitarian catastrophe in the region. If we need the proof that no durable and sustainable development exists without security, here we are. In addition to that, we cannot forget about extreme forms of poverty in such European countries as Moldova and Albania. Or let us take, for example, some grave problems related to healthcare. In Ukraine and Moldova, 300 people out of 2,000, uh, out of 10,000, sorry, suffer from tuberculosis. The aforementioned countries do not fall into the category of the least developed countries, but they certainly fall into that of developing countries. If the MDGs do not embrace the least stable and secure countries, we will never achieve a viable social and moral order there. Therefore, the time has come to expand our horizon. Although Sub-Saharan Africa is crucial for us, we cannot confine the MDGs to the sole familiar context. We are facing new challenges and we have to react to them Last but not least, the MDGs are inseparable from the necessity to empower the least developed, developing, and the least secure countries so they can shape their future themselves. Thank you.